Hey, if you're drowning in emails and dreaming of a clean inbox, I'm going to show you how this one AI tool will instantly organize your emails and act as your 24 seven email assistant. My name is Kevin. And on this channel, I show entrepreneurs like you how to make more, spend less and work less. If you're anything like me, every morning when you check your email, you're bombarded with a mix of newsletters, spam, and important emails all mixed together. So after weeks of looking for a solution, I found a way to have AI manage your inbox for you so that you don't need to spend hours sorting through emails or pay a virtual assistant. So my inbox used to look like this, and now it looks like this. I did this with a tool called Sanebox that organizes all your emails for you. It even gives you reminders for emails that need replies or follow-ups and helps you clean out old and junk emails instantly. What's great is it only takes 10 minutes to set up and works with Gmail, Outlook, Yahoo, and every other major provider. This is gonna be a full tutorial, so I'm gonna show you how to quickly set it up and then how to customize things for the way you like to work. To get started, just click the link in the description to be taken to the Sanebox site where you can grab a 14 day free trial. And because I'm teaming up with Sanebox for this video, they're going to be hooking you up with a $25 credit, which gives you two extra months for free on their most popular plan. So once you're on this page, all you have to do is hit try it now for free. And then you are going to connect your email account. So as I said, there's nothing to install with Sanebox and the way it works is it actually sits in between your email client, like whatever app you're using to check your email and the server itself. So just like a virtual assistant, it's kind of like that primary layer that sees your emails first in a sense and filters them for you before they hit your inbox or as they hit your inbox. So, all you have to do is connect that. And so let's say you have a Gmail account, just sign in with Gmail. It's gonna ask you for some authentication and then you just hit yes. And then Sanebox will start its setup. And then Sanebox will walk you through the orientation. And the main thing it's gonna be doing is asking you to set up your Sane folders, which I'm gonna show you right now. So Sane folders are how Sanebox keeps your email organized. And it's sort of the magic of how it works. So I'm gonna break down all of these folders and give you some examples of why you might wanna use them. So starting from the top is Sane Later. And so when Sanebox gets emails, what it does is it organizes them into these folders. So Sane Later is emails that it thinks can wait for later, they're not priority. Sane News is for newsletters, email, and other promotional type emails. And you can even add a few more folders like Sane Receipts if you want your receipts to go in there. And you can even have custom folders like Reports if you want reports to go in there or really anything else you want to create as a custom folder. And showing you how all of that works, you can see Sanebox has only left the important emails in my inbox. And you'll see the Sane Later folder has already filtered out 159. The same news has filtered out 337 and reports has 40 here. Now I actually left a few emails in here because I want to show you how easy it is to train Sanebox because Sanebox might not get everything perfect in, on day one. So let's say this right here is of course a payment. And so all you have to do then is drag that into Sane receipts. And now Sanebox knows, oh, okay. From now on in that kind of email, it's going to be considered a receipt. And so it will start automatically filtering that. And if you have ones like that already in your inbox, it'll go back and pull them in. And so that's how easy it is to train it. And you can drag it similarly into news or later, or if you go to, in fact, later and you find something that you're like, no, 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 actually I want this in my inbox. You can drag it back and same box will train itself to be like, Hey, look, this person actually wants me to treat this email like this. And every day, Sanebox will actually give you an email digest, which will give you information on how it's training itself and what it moved. So you can see, here's what we put in Sane News. Here's what I put in Sane Reports. And if you head over to trainings and filters from the main dashboard, you'll be able to see which contacts it trained and where it's sending those contacts from now on. So you always have full control and visibility into how Sanebox is treating your emails just in case, especially in the start, you just want to double check and make sure it's not missing anything because of course it's not perfect. So one of the most important things a virtual assistant will do for you is prioritizing and filtering your emails. And that's how Sanebox does that for you automatically. 
Now, another thing a great assistant would do for you is help you keep on top of all your emails by giving you reminders to follow up and kind of flagging emails that haven't gotten a response yet. So Samebox helps you do this too. And so out of the box, they're going to have a folder called Say No Replies. So Samebox keeps track of the emails you sent and then it's just tracking which ones haven't received a reply yet. So that's the first way it helps you keep on track of that. Now, the other way is when you send an email if you want to make sure that you're notified in a set period of time to respond if you don't get a response then Samebox can do that for you as well so what I mean is let's say you're sending an email to someone I'm gonna send it to myself hey Kevin can you please confirm let's say you send this email and then what you can do is you can CC yourself in any time period you want. So let's say you say tomorrow at sanebox.com, example one, two, three. And then what it's going to do is tomorrow, if you don't get a response to this email, then it's gonna send you an email like this saying, hey, this hasn't been responded to. And then you can add more time if you want another reminder. So say you're like, actually push this another two days, remind me in two days, just hit that and it will do that. And you just snooze that reminder. And another type of reminder it has to help you stay focused in your inbox is let's say there's this email here and I want to deal with it tomorrow because I need to be the one to follow up and say I need to do something or I'm waiting on some kind of information and I don't want to deal with this until tomorrow or next week or next month. Then I could actually just drag this into saying tomorrow and it'll disappear from my inbox for those people who want to do inbox zero and they want it to be super clean at all times. And then what will happen is Sanebox will actually pop this email back into my inbox tomorrow. So if you like to use that kind of feature, then to stay organized and focused on what you're working on for the day, then that can help you really do that. Now, the one thing we hate about email is the constant spam from people we've never heard of and are not interested in communicating with, or even the things you signed up for like months ago and they just send you way too many emails. But what I find is it's so annoying to even try and block these people for whatever reason. There's just not like a one button, never talk to me again. I don't wanna figure out how to unsubscribe from your newsletter. I don't wanna spam report or anything like that. I just want you to never be able to contact me again. Well. Well, Sanebox has this feature. It's actually one of my favorites. So let's just say whoever this is is spamming me. Then all I have to do is take this, put it into the Sane black hole, and you will never hear from them again. This Sane black hole feature is amazing. It's such a simple thing. You would think that it should already be built into email, but it's not. But there you go. That's another really great feature that Sanebox has that can help you keep organized. And so the next time that address emails you, it will never reach you. You don't even have to worry about figuring out how to unsubscribe. And speaking of keeping your inbox clean, another thing you might want to do is delete all of those junk and spam mails and even delete old emails that are no longer relevant and are just clogging up space in your inbox. So Samebox has an amazing tool for this and it's called the email deep clean. And so you just pick a date where you want Sanebox to scan for older emails. So say for example, you're saying, hey, I wanna look at July 1st, 2024, and everything before that, aggregate for me what the emails are. And so I've run it here, it takes a few minutes, but you can see there are 868 emails from Twitter and 275 from this company here. And so it's going to bucket all of that for you. And then all you have to do then is check that box and hit trash and it will delete all of this. You can actually see here that I trashed 10,361 emails for a total of 660 megabytes using this tool. So this is actually one of my favorite tools. It's so simple, but it's so effective. And again, this is something else your virtual assistant would do for you. They'd be responsible for trashing all of the spam and keeping your inbox clean. But here, Samebox will help you do it in a few clicks. And two other quick things I wanna cover is, Samebox plays really well with existing rules and customizations you might have in your inbox. For example, if you use Gmail categories and you still wanna keep those for some reason, then you can still use them and Samebox will work perfectly fine with them. They will not interfere with each other in any way. 
So if you have rules and things like that, then Sanebox does play nicely with those. And of course, no tool is right for everyone and maybe Sanebox is just not for you. And so if you wanna remove it, don't worry, your emails are perfectly safe. It actually gives you two options when you cancel your account. You can just keep all of the same folders as is, they just won't be smart anymore. Or you can just delete all the same folders and it'll move everything back into your inbox. In other words, nothing has changed. And so you can see those options right here when you cancel. And so that's how easy it is to keep your inbox organized with Sanebox. I've been using it for a few months now and it's really helped me just be more productive and save a lot of time sorting through emails and even replying to emails that I don't need to address first just because they're at the top of my inbox. I'm sure a lot of people do that and that's not just the most efficient way to work. And honestly, I don't think I could go back to a world where everything is just dumped in my inbox and I just have to sort through all the random things to try and find the important emails instead of being able to tackle what's important first. The truth is, I think this tool shouldn't exist. I think that email, especially with something like Gmail and Outlook, they both have some of the biggest AI tools on the planet with Copilot and Gemini. This stuff should just be built into email. It should just be smart out of the box, but it's not. So maybe in a few years it will be and you don't need a tool like Sanebox, but as of right now, it's kind of the best solution outside of paying a virtual assistant. But the best thing to do is to try it out for yourself risk-free. You can get a 14-day free trial and that $25 credit, which is gonna give you a few months to try it out for free. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to the channel for more productivity tips just like this. In fact, if you want some more awesome productivity tools, check out this video right here where I share the three easiest project management and planning apps.